Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing all super well today. This video was a requested video. Some of you ask about the Chanel boot. Some of you ask about the Louis Vuitton boot. So I will be reviewing them in detail as well as comparing them. So if you are interested, please keep watching. In this video, we are going to go through the design of the boots, the quality, comfort, the sizing, as well as the styling of the boots, and are the boots worth the hefty price tag? I will be also mentioning which shoes would I choose if I were to purchase only one pair. Let's start with the design. I will be showing you close-up video of both boots, so you can see really the craftsmanship of both of them. Now, Chanel. This pair of boots I purchased last year in Chanel boutique in Vienna, as you could have seen the shopping vlog from there. Obviously, they do come in different colors. I saw them in denim, beige, white, red. I mean, you name it. I wanted actually the beige boots. However, the beige was a little bit too light. The shade wasn't necessarily what I was after, so I gave it a miss. So I thought black, you know what, you can't do anything wrong, it will stay in my collection forever. The boots, they're made out of the calf skin, as you can see. This stitched part, I think it is H calf skin because it's quite crinkly. The leather is very soft, beautiful on touch. Now we have one logo at the front that it's stitched, black on black, you can really see it. It's beautiful though. The hardware is champagne gold hardware, which is beautiful because it's not gold, it's not right in your face. I love it. You can see the brush on the clasp and the champagne gold hardware around the holes of the shoelaces. The shoelaces come only up to three quarter of the boots. The top is loose, so the foot also feel quite loose in these boots. I want to show you actually because I was playing and I already ripped it on this. As you can see, the class comes stitched with the tongue of the boots. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I already ripped it here as I was playing and showing to you. So obviously, I think everyone will rip it. It's just like literally three, four stitches. Not sure why, it doesn't have any purpose of being stitched with the tongue of the boots. The stitching here around the whole boot is black and it is just one simple line. The craftsmanship is great. I can show you even the bottom, it's not that bad. The logo is here, the Chanel and the little Chanel logo on the top. Look, I wore it only a few times because last year I arrived back to Australia, it was already like summer, and now the whole winter we've been in lockdown, so there was no way of wearing them but I think I wore them enough to give you the proper detail review of them. The design, very beautiful, simple, love it. I think this style will really uh, never go out of fashion, so I think it's beautiful. Now, the heel height is 4 cm, the sole is 2 cm high, the shaft height is 13 cm, the leg opening here is 25 centimeters, so it already tells you that it's quite wide for your foot. I think that it is really beautiful, simple boots that will last the time. Now, Louis Vuitton. I tried them last year when I was in a boutique, however, I decided to get the other one. But this stayed always on my mind. So this year I actually purchased them again from Louis Vuitton Vienna Boutique. And yeah, I love them. I love them very much. Especially if something doesn't go out of my mind for half a year, I know that I really, really want it. So calf skin, smooth calf skin, as you can see, very sleek design. Love it very much. Implicit. You can see logo only at the front here, like it's a logo plug, very little writing, and you can see a little logo on the heel. This is a canvas piece. Again, you really have to see close up and to see that it's a little bit on canvas. You can't see it from far away. And the little detail around the elastic bits here is also canvas. 
The elastic is on both sides, so the boot really holds your foot. The measurements. The whole heel is 6 cm, the sole is 2.5 cm, and the leg opening is 21 cm. You can see the stitching around is white and it's double. The shaft height is 14 cm, so 1 cm higher than Chanel, so very different to Chanel boots. Now we get to sizing. You know, I always complain about sizing. I stop complaining. But designers really should do something about sizing. Chanel. I took these boots in my regular Chanel shoe size, which is 38 and a half. Most of my shoes are 38 and a half. Sometimes I take 39. My regular size is either 37 and a half or 38. I would say you have to always take one size bigger than your normal shoe size. It's hard to tell, it's the best to really try them on, but I measured the insole, I mean it's very hard but I did, and it is 24.5 cm and that's my usual size of an insole when I'm buying shoes and they fit. So any shoes that are close, I buy 38 and a half in Chanel, any open shoes I think they are mostly 39, even the last sandals. These boots, even so they are 38 and a half, you can definitely put thicker socks in them. So I think they fit perfectly. It's very easy to get in and out, obviously, because, you know, it's got a bigger opening. And uh, what else to say about sizing? I've got a little bit wider foot at the front. It's not too wide, but it's not narrow. They do fit just right for my foot. Louis Vuitton boots. Sizing. These boots I took in 37. I think it's my first 37 size in Louis Vuitton shoes. Would I say they run large? Yes, definitely. At least half a size. All my sneakers from Louis Vuitton are 38. I think one are 37 and a half, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so time out sneakers, 38. All of them. I am not a big fan of Louis Vuitton shoes. High heels and all other stuff are not comfortable for my feet. So, not mad about Louis Vuitton shoes, but these boots really won my heart straight away when I saw them and when I tried them on. And I will tell you reasoning afterwards. Shoe size, 37. Now, when I measured the insole, again, it's 24.5 centimeters, so my feet length. When you go to Louis Vuitton website, the sizing, the size chart of the shoes, it's ridiculous. It gives you different sole measurements. I don't know where they get it from. The 37 corresponding to 22 point something centimeters, it's not possible. My foot would never fit in them if it would be 22 point something centimeters. No way. So don't go according to the size chart of Louis Vuitton. It's definitely not correct. As I told you, this opening is smaller. So you have little bit, I think, at the beginning until you stretch them a little bit, like problem to get in and out. I mean, not, it's not a problem, but it's uh, obviously harder than getting into these boots when this is 25, the opening, and this is 21. But the size, as I said, 37, I will be not wearing them with thicker socks. So you have to consider how you want to wear the boots. If you want to wear them with thicker socks, definitely, I would be taking 37 and a half, so I would be sizing down only half a size, not full size as I've done. Let's talk about comfort. Now, I have to admit both shoes are comfortable different way. These boots, I will be taking you through a few details that I don't know if I would change, but they are a little bit of a concern. Because the opening is big, as I walk, the foot is a little bit moving up and down the shoe, which I'm not a big fan, I have to admit. I don't know how you can adjust it unless you put the shoelaces right on the top and you can really tie them up so the foot would be really stable inside the shoes. I tried even with the thicker socks, doesn't do any difference, the foot still moves up and down. So, guys, if you ever 
on these boots. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think? If you had the same issue or not. Otherwise, uh, regarding comfort, I would say uh, from 10, I would give it 9 only because of the point of my foot moving up and down. Comfort of Louis Vuitton. I would say the comfort is 10 out of 10. And you know, I'm a Chanel lover, right? However, it is depending on my foot, okay? So we all have different feet, guys. You have to find shoes that fit your foot and obviously uh, what you want to use them for. I am wearing these only with the stockings, not with the socks, and they fit perfectly. I think because this has a smaller opening and obviously elastic on both sides, it holds my foot perfectly. It's not hurting me, you know, that I had an ankle surgery and for me, I could not wear boots for an extended period of time because I really hated anything touching my ankle. I'm just too sensitive. <laughs> Anyhow, these boots, even so they are tight, I would say, they are great. However, because it is small opening, if you've got a higher arch, I would be worried if you fit in the boots. I mean, I haven't worn them as often, obviously, since I bought them only this year and we are in lockdown for such a long time. But the time I was wearing them, they were very, very comfortable. So, love it. Look, this will definitely stretch a little bit, so in and out will become a little bit more easier. And I love to just grab shoes, get in and out, you know, like no issues, which this is really the same. You can set up your laces as you want and you just slide in and slide out. So you don't have too much hassle with those boots either. So love it. Again, for me, the comfort 10 out of 10. Now pricing. As you know, bows are really an investment pieces when you consider the prices. I will be showing you the pricing of the Louis Vuitton boots in Australian dollars, American dollars, also in Euro. As you can see, Euros are the cheapest from all the three countries uh, and they're still investment pieces, doesn't matter which currency you buy them. These Chanel Colors boots are currently available in Sydney Chanel boutiques and here are their prices. If you were to decide regarding the price, obviously these can still a bit cheaper than Chanel. So let's talk about styling, and then you will find out why I purchased both of them. First, Chanel. Chanel, in my opinion, because they're combat boots, because they've got a bigger opening here, I would be wearing them with the pants and denim jeans and suits as well. And these I would definitely wear with skirts and shorts. Now, reason why. This has small opening, so it makes your leg longer and much nicer. It cuts it in a right length, whereas these, even so it is a centimeter shorter because it's got a bigger opening, doesn't look as good as these with the shorts and skirts. You will see it on the picture, at least in my eyes, so you make your own opinion. If I were to choose only one pair, it's very hard. I love both of them for different styles, obviously. Because I live in Sydney, I don't need to wear thick socks. And I love the look of these. I would, I think, go only with these pair of boots. And don't take me wrong, I love my Chanel. However, because these are in my eyes, more versatile because you can wear them with skirt, shorts, pants, denim, whatever. They look always good. I think I would prefer them. Again, it comes down to your style and how you want to see yourself in the books. Right. My final word is whatever you decide, you will be happy because they are investment pieces. I think they are both worth the hefty price tag because the quality is there and they are really comfortable. Again, comes down to your style, comes down to your body shape, what you like, how you like to get dressed and uh, what you want to use them most for. So, good luck in choosing. That was it from today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions, 
about the boots please leave them in the comments below i hope i cover it all aspects of the boots thank you so much for watching and i really hope to catch up with you in my next video have a lovely day and take care ciao